Hey everyone, this is Aryan and welcome back to Apollo X64 where we discuss about computers and the things that may make them awesome. Today we'll be looking at a distro which most of you might not have heard of before. Um, we are going to explore Astra Linux, which is a Linux distro that is being used by the Russian military now. Recently, the Russian military of defense has issued a mandate to stop using Windows and switch to Astra Linux on their defense systems due to concerns of Windows security to its military operations. Astra Linux has also been given the highest security clearance and is permitted to be used by Russian intelligence agencies as well. Now, what kind of distro is Astra Linux and who made it? You may have that question in your mind. So Astra Linux is a Debian based Linux distro that was made by a Russian company called Rust Tech in 2008. It was initially developed for enterprise use in Russian companies, but the company started working with the Russian government to expand its services. Is already being used by many branches of the Russian military, but now it will replace Windows in every branch of the Russian military, which is a good move to maintain the national security. Now let us have a look at the editions that Astral Linux. Astral Linux comes in two main editions, the special edition and the common edition. The special edition is a paid version of the distro and is meant for enterprise and government use. The special edition again has sub four subversions, namely Astral Linux Server, Astral Linux Mobile, Astral Linux Desktop, and Astral Linux Embedded. These subversions are self explanatory, so I'm not going to deep dive into those. Now, the common edition is meant, meant for individual usage, and that's what we will be testing out today. Now, let us install Astral Linux on our system. For that, we need to download the ISO, and it's available on their website. So, head to astralinux.ru and head to their operating systems tab and let us translate it to English. And all you have to do is just scroll down and you'll find the Astral Linux common edition here. So this is the one that's available for individuals and it's currently not being maintained nor receives, nor receives any security updates. So it's kind of risky to use this one. And you're always uh, vulnerable to any threats or something. So just don't use this for personal use. I'm just using it for educational purpose. So let us continue with this. And you just have to click this download button and it will take you to some repository. And you need to download this one, for, which contains English and Russian languages. These versions, they only contain Russian. I actually tried these before and they don't have any English pack, language packs installed. So I couldn't change it back to English. So this one is the one that has English packs. So let us download this. And I actually managed to set up, set it up everything. So let us just jump back. Okay, so welcome back. And here we are in our VM and let us install Astro Linux. Let us use the graphical install. Let us choose English. United States and just click continue. So let us give it some administrator name. I'm gonna choose special studies. And then we need some good strong password. We cannot use uh, some random passcode or something for this. Apparently, Ashley Linux makes it very strict to have a strong password and, it, and the claim to maintain some high security standards. So let us 
uh, make some password strong one and done so apparently they only support uh, russian time zones so let us use moscow Let us use the entire disk because I, I managed to make a virtual hard drive. Let's select this virtual hard drive and all files in one partition. That's what we'll be doing. And finish partition and done. I think it will uh, install everything right now. Yeah, so installing the base system, I think it will take some time. Okay, let us choose the latest kernel which is Viper. I don't think my Viper drivers will work, so let us go anyway. Okay, so welcome back. And yeah, we are done with the installation, and now let's put into Astral Linux. Okay, so and here we are. So this is Astro Linux, and I'm impressed that uh, we managed to get my network drives working. Because back when I used Mint, I couldn't get anything installed because of the network drivers. But somehow they were they seem to be working here. And now you know, let us try installing NeoFetch. Do they have a terminal here? Let us see if they have a terminal. Yes, so they they have something called fly terminal, and it kind of looks like some Windows 98 design. I guess I don't know. It looks really old. So let us try. Uh, should I let us update the package? Let us try new fetch now. Why doesn't it have any of it? Okay, so apparently it only downloads from Astral Linux, unlike uh, Boss OS that I have seen in the last video. So apparently, I don't think we can install NeoFetch in this one. So apparently, they, they have some different uh, repositories, um, but I'm pretty sure that there, there are workarounds around up for this, but I don't have much time for it so let us just explore the os right now. so from the looks of it, it looks very neat i mean i mean it it looks very neat and kind of like windows like let's let's just have a look at the file uh file system just one second and fine okay here it is and this kind of gives, gives me the, the i mean windows xp feel like look at this green buttons the file and everything it kind of feels like windows xp 
it has the windows xp design language to it i mean some not not by everything but it has some elements from windows xp and windows 7 etc and everything else it's kind of the same that you will that you will find in every other linux distro let uh, by default it comes with the yandex browser let let's actually try it out I haven't tried a Yandex yet in my life. So let us have a look at it. So apparently this kind of looks neat and it only has some Russian stuff. So I don't remember what kind of search in Russian ships, but let us try I. Okay, so Yandex is this this search engine search engine. And it's goddamn slow. And let's just close it. I mean, this kind of looks like the Opera design. Like, op Opera has the same, same sidebar and stuff. I mean, and it kind of looks neat. And it's it's the default browser in this After Linux. We also have Firefox if we want to use it. Damn, why doesn't it open? Okay, this is just where uh, Firefox, which opens. As Linux when you first boot it, and this is something that we have already seen in the beginning. And in, in when games, they have some K mines, Jaguars. What's it? Let's just try try this one. Okay, this kind of makes me remember those uh, Windows 7 games like Portable Place. Uh, how do we play this? Remove this thing? Okay, okay. I got it. Okay, so it's just something like that. Let us try the other games. Let us try K-Mines. <laughs> I really don't know how to play this game. Even now, I've been, I've been trying to play this game since 2007 or something. I really don't understand how to play Minesweeper even now. So let us check the other ones. These are color lines, I think. How do how do, okay? We just place them here. Okay, okay, something like that. So we're just checking everything out. So we're not gonna check everything. I mean, players spend much time in every game. And this something you know, this is some solitaire type thing. Now the other games, super tech set. Oh, um, okay, this is awesome. I think this is the only one. Uh, let's try. Let's actually try this. Okay, how do I? Okay, okay. Is there a piece? <laughs> I think this is just some Super Mario type thing, and it has some story mode too. Somewhere at those is um, what's happening? Okay, so it's the penguin is dancing right now. Okay, those are some nice news moves. He's got the moves. Okay, some big guy came now. Uh, okay, so apparently this guy kept kidnap the purple penguin, and now we gotta go save it. Save it. This seems to be some kind of interesting game. Like, I haven't played such games in a long time. I mean, last time I played something like this was back in some 2014 or something. Again, let's just explore the other things. Let's kill it. Okay, is this Call of Duty Warzone or something? Okay, Warzone 20. 
100 okay this is some kind of tank game i think okay this is some turn based like um, real time at uh, time strategy thing i guess i thought it would shoot okay they got uh, some real interesting games in there now let us check the other office so we have just this basic libra office thing libra office base strider and everything that's the common one and for network they do also have qubit torrent install then and yandex and chromium as well let us see chromium i haven't seen it for a while so by default it has was this thing okay so this is wiki of astral linux okay, nothing much special about it So what do they have? For, okay, it comes with GNU, uh, like GIMP, Inkscape, and many other uh, productivity suits. And for multimedia, they have VLC and everything, the common POS stuff. And for education, I don't know what both of these are. And mobile, uh, did they really expect uh, people to use this on a phone or something? I mean, why do they have clock dialer and everything else? I think I'm not sure. And when it comes to accessories, they have some keyboard and stuff. And system, let us check. Let us check. Ah, uh, they do have control center. Let us let us check settings. Control center. I think it look, looks neat. I think everything is organized. And let us actually check the background. Like if they have any. wallpaper or something like the better ones okay i can't scroll down okay so they only have this by by wallpaper they don't have anything else so nothing much uh, this this definitely looks like windows xp thing I mean, this design language is it's definitely Windows XP. I mean, this does give some Windows XP feel to it. I mean, this feels a lot like Windows XP. So my final impressions: I think this should be only used by offices, government agencies, etc. Again, this version, the common edition, is only. for individuals and it's not being maintained at all it does not receive any updates no security updates so this makes it very vulnerable to security issues and zero day attacks so it's best just to not use this at all i mean it's good for testing and just showing it off a video or just uh, getting to know how astral linux works but again i don't really recommend it for personal use again this is mostly aimed towards the russian government and its military for the uh, better national security and it's not aimed towards personal use but again i, I heard rumors that uh, russia is going to ban uh, the use of uh, windows altogether so i think they may again i'm not sure how true this true this is this is this, these are just rumors but if they do they may make as linux more consumer friendly so again i really don't recommend using anything any kind of linux resources made by the government or controlled by them because linux is all 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 about being free and free from corporations and free from control so it kind of kills the purpose of linux so again i really recommend to use uh, other distros like arch ubuntu or debian and just avoid this one altogether for personal use so that's it for this video and thanks for watching I'll be back with another video very soon.